The great yeah. thing about this tour is, like I said, I've been all over on it doing it. You don't have to get nostalgic. I, I went and did gigged in Great Yarmouth for one of the early shows. Anyone here holiday in Great Yarmouth? Yeah. Thank God for that, because you can't explain to someone who hasn't been to Great Yarmouth how evil that wind is, how icy and cold is that wind. Oh, my God, five years in a row we went there, me and my family, me nan. It is such a cruel wind. You'll be in the caravan, you'll look out the window, sun, blue sky, yeah. Let's run down to the beach and play. Oh, my God, it's the baby! Instant <laughs> Botox. <laughs> I turned round, my nan looked 12. And what did my mum give us to play with on the beach? A frisbee. A fucking frisbee! <laughs> we could have holidayed in the Maldives, the amount of money it cost to replace the frisbee. Catch. <laughs> There's people in France going. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Should have started a pen pal, really, shouldn't I, with a frisbee? Je m'appelle Alain. <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> Whenever I look back at those photos of Great Yarmouth, I've always got a knitted jumper on with Alan. <laughs> I know my name. My family know my name. It just in case any dirty old man comes by wants to cut out the chit chat. <laughs> what are you called? Can't you read? <laughs> yes, I will have a sweet. <laughs> then we did another day in Great Yarmouth. We went to Fuengarola. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes, yeah, Spain, Spain. I like Spain. Do you like Spain? Well, I did like Spain. Did you see that survey they brought out? They thought British women were easy meat. They said when they saw one of those budget airlines come in, they knew they'd soon be having intercourse. <laughs> Does anyone think maybe British women get the most sex abroad because they're the most beautiful? <laughs> Me neither, but... Um, <laughs> you don't help yourself. I've seen you on those planes. You're out of control. You half expect the pilot to say, please wait for the plane to come to a complete halt before removing your knickers. <laughs> I don't go on budget airlines anymore. Do you know why? We're never going to charge a pound to use the toilet. A pound. That's more than the cost of the sodding flight. <laughs> You'll be sitting there having a dumb thinking, oh, could have gone to Alicante. <laughs> Um, I've got better on my holidays. I don't know if you're the same, but I started getting drunk and inviting the other holidaymakers back to my house in England if they were passing. Do you do that? You're staying with me. You're staying with me. Here's my email address, here's my phone number, here's my DNA. You are staying with me. <laughs> Fair enough when you're on the balcony having a pina colada, but cut to two o'clock in the morning, you're pumping up a four-man airbed for Ron and Sheila. No, you can't have a biscuit. <laughs> and I've stopped going on all-inclusive holidays. I've had to. Brings out the worst in me. It's like I've been brought up by wolves. <laughs> what comes over me? That pocket I paid for it, I'm going to have it. But it's... <laughs> you see people in the foyer with a calculator. I need to have 5,787 gin and tonics to break even. <laughs> This all-you-can-eat buffet. I didn't pick at it. I did a forward roll through it. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. I fucking paid for it. I'm going to have it. <laughs> now, do you do this as well? When you come back from your holiday, you really want to show your tan off, but all your best clothes are in the wash. Do you know that? And you come home and think, I want to show me tan off. You've got like leggings, denim jacket, pixie boots. Yeah, been away, been away. Where'd you go? The 80s. <laughs> I do it all the time. Like, yeah, fuck it, show me tan off. 
Slip on's cod piece. Fuck it. Hey! <laughs> Five stars, four fingers. Uh, <laughs>